What you gonna do, Disney, when the Punisher runs wild on you? That's right, friends. We're going to talk a little bit about the rumors about Punisher, and I wanted to compare that a little bit to Cruella and just get a, a state of what's going on here. I am the man you may know as Z, and if you like what we talk about on this channel, please give us a like and subscribe, as that greatly helps us out. I won't be needing these headphones, but uh, anyway, let's go to the article just to give a little bit of context. So, as you may or may not know, the Punisher and all the other Netflix characters, Daredevil and Jessica Jones, have all reverted back to Marvel. Netflix no longer owns them or can do anything with them. Um, and obviously, the Punisher was canceled after two seasons. Very popular, did very well, but still canceled. So now rumors have been flying, and they've been flying for a while now. What to do with the Punisher? Will John Barenthal return? And with the announcement of the Moon Knight, we're going to see a little bit of a darker thing show up on Disney Plus, which is a little strange. So you've got Oscar Isaac playing the Moon Knight, and the Moon Knight is kind of like the Marvel's version of Batman, except it, there's a little bit of a supernatural tinge to it, and he's also, for better or worse, mentally insane. He's possessed by the spirit of a, I, I guess it's an Egyptian moon god. So anyway, because I, I never really read it. I, I don't know that much about it. And there are rumors that in, in Daredevil, we'll be showing up in Far From Home, maybe, as Spider-Man's attorney. Who knows? But what I wanted to explore was, how does Disney balance this darker side of theirs so let's take a step back and let's talk, we'll, we'll compare it to Cruella, right? So here you've got Cruella, who is a dog murderer, puppy murderer. Here's some of the most vile things that I, I caught on Screen Rant that, that she says. Uh, she says, I don't care how you kill the beasts, but do it and do it now. So she's talking about, you know, kidnapping dogs and murdering them. And then she says... When they ask her, well, how would you like us to do it? She goes, any way you like. Poison them, drown them, bash them in the head. You got any chloroform? Okay, Disney, tell me, how are you going to justify? You, you know, somehow they, they, they wash it all away in their Cruella movie that she's just a misunderstood genius. Yet now they're going... So... And even Emma Stone herself, who was the lead actress who played Cruella, said that she had difficulty getting into the character because they wouldn't let her smoke, right? Cruella smokes that real long cigarette thing. So here you've got this character who murders dogs, smokes cigarettes, and Disney has struggle, uh, struggles to rectify this character. What exactly are you going to do if you bring in the Punisher. Now we know John Barenthal, his depiction could be the definitive depiction of the Punisher. He's amazing, I really did enjoy the series. Uh, season two left it wide open. I mean, you could do anything with the guy. But I just wanted to point something out to you guys out there. The Punisher's kill count, in case you didn't know this. Now I'm going through and I'm, uh, I, I just wanted to take a look because I, I wasn't sure myself. So apparently there's a fan wiki <laughs> that goes over both of the seasons and gives you an idea of what it looks like. And they go through every killing that he ever that he ever did. <laughs> like Rano in season one, the episode 3 a.m. Uh, two Dogs of Hell members ran over by Frank Castle. Unnamed Mexican cartel member shot in the head by Frank Castle with a sniper rifle. Unnamed Irish gangster strangled to death by Frank Castle with a belt. Leo neck broken by Frank Castle with a sledgehammer. Polly shot in the head by Frank Castle. Lance bludgeoned to death by Frank Castle with a sledgehammer. You get the idea. So just in that one episode, there were 14. <laughs> so let's go on. I think by the end of it, they have a kill count, including season two, where I'm pretty sure there was one scene where he may have murdered like 30 people in one scene. Uh, they don't see and maybe it's maybe it's 22 in some in one of them right so total deaths 
208 kills. Um, so there's 208 deaths. 90 in season one, 118 in season two, 142 of them were by the Punisher, 24 by Billy Russo. So please, Disney, explain to me how you're going to introduce this. The man's a bit of an anti-hero, not so much a hero. And, you know, we want it done right. And I'm not complaining about what Netflix did. I rather enjoyed what Netflix did. But how are you going to do this the right way? You can't have it rated PG-13. And what's that mean for the Moon Knight? Like, you know, one of the rumors is that he'll show up, the Punisher will show up in season two of the Moon Knight. And maybe there's going to be some sort of, like, Dark Avengers. They're, they're talking about developing the quote-unquote Midnight Suns, which would include, uh, in the comics, it, it included Hellstrom, Morbius, Ghost Rider, Blade, Doctor Strange, and, and the Punisher. So I have no idea where they're going to go through with all this. But I don't know how that you how can you have the Punisher as part of this when he's literally, you know, some kind of serial killer, right? He was actually supposed to be in season two, I guess, of Iron Fist, but they substituted him. Oh, they were going to have Moon Knight in season two. of, of um, They had uh, Typhoid Mary instead in, in Iron Fist. So I don't know how they're going to do this. Who knows? My only point was, if you're going to do it, do it right. Do I have faith that Disney's going to do it right? Hmm. Kind of skeptical there. Um, what do you think? Do you think that they can do this? Will they pay proper homage to Frank Castle? Is the Moon Knight going to be good? I, I don't know. Do you guys have faith in Disney? Do you think this is a good Disney uh, Plus character? Like, what do you think they're going to do? Are we going to get what we want? I don't know. You tell me in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe. Helps us greatly. Share this video. Uh, you can also catch our, our long form live podcast that we do friday nights eastern standard time 7 30 eastern standard time you can also subscribe to our full length podcast which you can get at any time any place anywhere itunes spotify all those great places be sure to catch us there so from all of us here at our views will kill you to all of y'all at home we love y'all and on to the next one